What's up guys? Coach Andrew here back from Ultimate, Ultimate MMA Plus. What we're going to work today is how to get to the clinch in MMA. How to get to the 50-50 position. This is a question I get asked more than any other question is how do I get there? How do you get in there to, to take the person down without getting knocked out, without getting hit? First thing is you got to spar a lot so you get used to the punches coming at you. Second, these four tips are definitely going to help. So he's going to stand in a boxing stance. I'll show from both sides. First thing he's going to throw is a jab, which is my favorite. If he throws a jab, I'm going to parry like normal. So if he just throws a regular jab, you're going to parry regardless. Throw a jab, you're going to parry regardless. Why not get to the clinch? Why not get in there, get inside, and not get hit anymore? If he throws it, I knock it down. Look, I shoot right in. Now I'm in my 50-50. And if you watch some of my fights, as soon as I get here, if I'm not going to go for a takedown right away, I get my S grip. This way he can't get out, especially if he's a good striker. Inside, here, and here. Right, move around, he throws the jab, pop, right in, get my S grip. It's very, very important. So this way he doesn't get away, because what the guy will do is as soon as I get here, he'll pummel in, or no, come here for a second, get into the clinch with me. So I'll throw the jab at you, boom. The guy's gonna pummel in, as he pummels, he's gonna push away to get here. So I wanna get that, that S grip quick. So he throws, in here, all right, that's number one. Number two is a jab cross. A little bit more dangerous, but if the guy's a Muay Thai fighter, he's gonna set up kicks with the hands, so he's not gonna throw too hard. He throws a jab cross, peery, peery, and then I'm gonna come inside, my head goes to the other side, and I get the clinch on the opposite side. Here you go, pop, pop, in here. I got my knees here. This is number two. Make sure you're looking in the guy's eyes the whole time. I know it's coming at me. I'm looking. He throw. Ha -ha. Oh. Third one, inside kick. Guy wants to set up or pull out the inside kick just to see what you're going to do. Use that to close the distance right away. I'm here. He hits that inside kick right away. Close that distance. Don't give him any space at all. Be glued to the person. Moving around. Inside kick right away. Boom. Throw my knees. Look for my takedowns. <laughs> right away. Boom. Last one we're going to do, because we're doing four today, is he sets up that low kick. All right, he throws that jab, sets up that low kick. Boom. Oh, I don't want to take too many of those in a fight. After I know that's what he's doing, the second time he goes, I shoot right in, and then I'm here. I'm set up for my takedown as soon as I clinch. Boom, right in. Now I'm on the opposite side. So you can see, if he throws anything with the left, my head will end up on my right side. So he throws a right, I mean a left jab, my head goes here. He throws inside kick with the left leg, my head goes here. He throws anything on the right side, throws the cross, my head goes there, and I step forward. He throws the right leg, here. Very important. Let's go on this side. This is just four basic ways to get into the clinch. I'm in here, he throws a jab, boom, one. He throws a jab cross, boom, two. I'm going really slow. He throws inside, boom. He throws jab kick, boom. So let's run through them all nice and quick. Grab it right away so he doesn't get away. Go back on this side for fast ones. Our next two videos, we're gonna add takedowns to all these entries. Okay? So let's go slow one more time. Slow, jab, period. I'm redirecting his arm underneath my armpit. And then this arm shoots under his armpit, and I go over. This is the clinch for MMA. You don't want your hips way back either. Throw your hips back. If his hips are way back, boom, I'm gonna use that as my takedowns. So you gotta be careful, you gotta be nice and close. So again, he throws a jab, redirect, fit in. He throws a jab cross, redirect, fit in. 
Same thing if he just throws a lead cross, too. He throws that, that he's pulling that lead cross out. Here. Inside kick, another really good one. The guy could even throw a jab inside kick. Oh, here. And I'm right in. Give him no space at all. Now jab. Rear kick, rear round kick. Boom. Come inside here. All right, let's go fast one more time. Moving around, watching his eyes. One. Moving around. Two. Inside kick now. Three. Four. All right, guys, that's four easy ways to get into the clinch from 50-50, or from outside to get into 50-50. All right, hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give us a like. Also, comment down below. Let us know anything else you might want to see. We do have two videos coming for takedowns off this whole sequence. So we got that coming for you. And please hit subscribe. This way you guys never miss a video. All right, guys, thanks.